we got the scary music, we got the creepy entity, we got the feeling of isolation, the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, the walls, the screen is closing in around us, our, our FOV is very narrow, so we have to really spin around to look at everything. Oh, uh, behind me. I can walk backwards, that's all I can do, I can't shoot. Oh, I can reload. Oh, there's no bullets in the, and there's no crystal bullets. I can't wait to try out No Players Online. Hey guys, I'm Proto Dead, and welcome back to another Let's Try Out video. Um, I got this game called No Players Online that I downloaded from itch.io, made with Unity. Oh, damn. Uh, I do like how the uh, like the game starts up, but what it does is it, is it puts a VHS tape like on your desktop, and you have to click it. And it, and it like makes a noise like you're sticking it in a TV. I think that's so cute, you know. All right. Uh, so this takes me back, right? VHS, VHR. Holy fuck! Okay, I'll roll off the volume. So I'll fix that in post. So um, uh, I opened this up earlier just to make sure that I had all my shit set up, all my options. But guess what? There's no fucking options. You can't. You can't option nothing. Um, mouse, no mouse support. Um, I do like the faux CRT monitor shit going on screen. It it just gives you that that nostalgic feeling. Takes you takes you right back. So uh, it looks like what we're looking at is line item by line item the name of some servers and it looks like there's zero players online so the status of this one if you look to the right it says offline so we'll just go ahead and try to to do this ctf official server i don't know what ctf is supposed to stand for um that's not the name of the game i've already forgot it so i hit enter up and down arrows to move around enter to confirm Quit is escape button for. Okay, so the sensitivity is not correct for me. So good, good for me. I got a razor, uh, and I can just bump up that DPI. So now it feels better. Yeah, cool. Did you see that? You like that on the screen right there? It's fucking sweet, isn't it? You love it. Um, some people don't like razor products. Some people are big. Uh, Logitech or maybe Corsair um, babies, but uh, I like me some razor shit. Um, yeah, I, I like having all my peripherals be the same name brand, so I only have one software I have to fuck with. Okay, so this definitely looks like it's like Nintendo 64, but the, all the filters that they have going on, like the little uh, vertical line, horizontal line that's scrolling down vertically, that's like uh, a, a reset, like, res uh, what do they call that, interpolation, like 720i, like the interpolation sort of stuff, the jaggies all over everything, real soft. So I recently did uh, a Let's Try Out video of a game, okay, so oh, I gotta reload. I did, a, I did a Let's Try Out video of a game called The Complex Found Footage, uh, a back rooms walking simulator with creepy atmosphere. So, And I mentioned, I think I mentioned this game uh, in that video because of this, the CRT bubble out, the simulated uh, uh, old style cathode ray tube presentation. And I think that game would have benefited from having this sort of motif but I certainly like it it you know the 4 by 3 aspect ratio it feels good it looks good it gives you that nostalgic feel hey look at that we got to the red flag oh so there is a sprint okay so I was walking slowly I oh, have yeah, captured I've captured the flag neat now what looking for players it says in the bottom I haven't mentioned Can't walk off the edge. Creepy ass music playing. 
glad I turned this down. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, so uh, it definitely feels unsettling being in a uh, Nintendo 64 era like Goldeneye sort of sort of online multiplayer game and there not being anybody here and then this person has done a really good job with the digital organ work, the music. Is that a person thing? Oh, it was something fucking it was something right over there that was that was just flickering. Okay, so this is like a little horror game. How come sometimes I have How come sometimes I have three shots and then sometimes I have like four or five? Oh, is there something hanging up there? Is that a tree? Skybox, it feels like got darker since we started playing this uh, this game. So do I capture this flag too? Like what the fuck? What does that mean? So there's no jump, there's no crouch. Uh, for some reason Z makes you walk forward as well. So there is a sprint, but I don't know if it's an endless sprint. Well, I'm just going to try to hold it down. I, for, I think for sure this thing, there was something here just a minute ago. Didn't want to able to walk through it. <sighs> Can't walk off the edge. Oh, it's red back here now. Ooh. Whoa. Score one out of three. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to capture the. Oh, shit. We can go this way now. Or maybe not. Okay, so maybe I need to go deposit the flag back on my side. Oh, there's the specter again. I'm gonna go this way this time. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, that the game world's changing around me. Uh, we were just over there when we walked this way, like this. This thing right there is the same thing as that thing right there. Okay, interesting. So this is one of those really cool games, and I like that how digital games can sometimes do that. Um, the the artistry of making portals that are invisible can't go forward. Oh, I just slowed down a lot. Oh no. Oh, I can only look at him. I can't turn my mouse. I can't shoot. What do I do? Shoot! 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 Okay. Cool, cool. I like how uh, games can do that, uh, where you turn the corner here and you walk into the same room you just walked out of, like right over there. But then you can do that a thousand times, but if you turn around and walk back the other way, you've entered a brand new room. You see what I mean? Like, the architecture and the, the geography of the game world does not play by the same rules uh, that we have to abide by in the real plane of existence or whatever you call this world that we're, we're both trying to uh, compare shit to live and breathe and walk around in I like that quite a bit um, the game Layers of Fear that I, I covered a long ass time ago Layers of Fear did that extremely well in a few of the sections of the house and I just I just love that, man. I think that's really, really cool because you don't know what to expect. You you have to figure out, you know, what the what, every every step you take is is possibly the 
the future, the way you're going is is bending to the will of the game creator and you don't know what that is until you come across it. As opposed to learning the map, memorizing the map, and everything is static. So it changing, I think, is really brilliant. And it plays with the idea that uh, you're, you're not in a real reality, that you're in a nightmare world. And obviously this game is meant specifically to be kind of a horror game, right? We got the scary music, we got the creepy entity, we got the feeling of isolation, the 4x3 aspect ratio, the walls, the screen is closing in around us, our, our FOV is very narrow, so we have to really spin around to look at everything. Oh, behind me! I can walk backwards, that's all I can do, I can't shoot. Oh, I can reload. Oh, there's no bullets in the, and there's no crystal bullets. Stop what you're doing. Do not move another step. Whatever you do, do not deliver that flag. How did you even get access to this game? John the Dev says, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear the shit out of you. If you read this, then press Y in chat and say something. Okay. How do I press Y? I, pr I mean, how do I open chat? Wait, never mind. I don't think you have chat permission on the server. Ah, debated. Trolled me. Just shoot twice if you can read this. I shot too many times. Now what, bitch? Okay, so you can read this. See, he assumes. The game developer assumes that I read it. So let me explain the John the Dev says. If you deliver that last flag, the servers will shut down. I absolutely cannot let that happen. Well, what's he going to fucking do about it? I've been working on this project for more than 11 years. I can't let you jeopardize all my work. Why would that why would that happen? This may look like a simple FPS game to you, but this game has the power to raise the dead. At least that's what it is supposed to do. It's still a work in progress, as you can probably tell. I'm making this so I can see my wife again. But she seems to be stuck in a sort of limbo. You probably already met her. She might come over a bit aggressive. She might come over a bit aggressive. But she's just scared and confused. Can you blame her? You destroyed the record player with her favorite music. I use that music to keep her calm. If you deliver that last flag, her soul will be set free. But I know I can save her and bring her back. Please, press escape and shut down the game, it says. Please. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Right? I mean, is there, like, what, what, like, what choice do I have? I don't have, I can't just press escape, that would be, that would be the end of the video. Deliver the flag. Please don't, oh cool, it's all bright, I can't read it. What is he saying? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop what you're doing. No, 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 he says. Yes, I did it. Oh, cool. I got kicked from the server. Okay, cool. Well, I guess this dude needs to make a different game. You know? What What the hell can you say? <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. Alright. What the fuck? Let me turn this down. Hold on. My fucking mouse. Okay, let me click that. Uh, let's just open it up again. And then, uh, we'll just try a different server. DHS tape. Boom. We're going to see if it's a different part of the story. Just, just for funnies, real quick. MS Boss. Not DOS, because, you know, it's copyrighted or whatever. Oh shit. Oh shit. There is no... What the fuck? I actually... Uh, I guess I have to uninstall and reinstall the game. Uh, fuck it. I mean, if that's, if that's how he wants to do it. You know, whatever. What a, what a neat little art piece he's got going on here. So, let's read the words of the developer. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play 
there's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before, and uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and then hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit, and kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit, or if they're spot on honest, and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So. Let's read the words of the developer. The only thing that it says on this website, and I'll have it linked in the description below, is no players online. You find a dusty VHS tape, and on the side is written, Capture the Flag Project, footage 03-20-1986. You decide to put it into the player. And this is a, a, a short horror flick by Adam Pipe as the dev, Victor Krauss as sound, and Ward D here as additional art. So uh, you can you can download this and play it for free. Um, he, they do ask for donations and stuff. I think I think a lot of them do on the uh, itch.io website. Oh, and since I'm mentioning itch.io, I'm going to tell you how to spell it to get these little simple indie free games it's itch dot io and if you accidentally leave the t out i'm pretty sure you're gonna have a surprise on your hands i think it's it ich dot io yeah yeah bad not good it's uh, the wrong one. So uh, <laughs> when you when you uh, type it into your web browser, kids at home and adult fans alike, um, you're gonna want to play. The, you're gonna want to find this game on itch.io and not ich.io. That's something completely different. Trust me. Don't even look it up. Um, I'm Proto Dead, and this has been my time with no players online. Tell me how you feel about it. I'll catch you in the future. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.